it's Mrs Hopewell here and um, today I'm going to read The Giant of Jum with you and I hope that you enjoy reading it with me. So it's The Giant of Jum by Ellie Woolard and Benji Davis. The Giant of Jum was a grumpy old grouch who was constantly grizzling and grumbling and when he was hungry he'd slobber and slouch and say oh how my tummy is rumbling. Fee, he said, and fie, he said, and foe, he said, and fum. How I pine, how I wish, for a child on a dish. Little children are yummy, yum, yum. He doesn't look very keen on that broccoli, does he? And he thought of a tale that his brother had told of a beanstalk and a boy known as Jack. He'd be nice, thought the giant, if eaten quite cold, with a side dish of beans for a snack. He strode through the lands with such thunderous stomp that the children, sorry, that the trees started shaking and swaying through fields and forests, through rivers and swamps, and to gardens where children were playing. Fum, he said, and foe, he said, and fie, he said, and fee. Children, I feel, make a fabulous meal. I will gobble you up for my tea. How big he is compared to those children down there. But the children said, what a magnificent man. You're so marvellously magic and tall. And they said, will you help us? We're sure that you can. Oh, please, will you fetch us our ball? The giant said, well, I suppose it won't hurt. But soon, have no fear, I'll be back. You'll be scrumptious if eaten with cream for dessert. Just as soon as I gobble that jack. Foe, he said, and fum, he said, and fee, he said, and fie. Children taste nice, mixed with pasta or rice, and they're perfect when popped in a pie. But the children ran up and they yelled, look at that, up there in the leaves, can you see? Oh, please, will you help us and rescue our, our cat? It's got stuck up that sycamore tree. The giant said, well, I suppose it won't hurt, but soon have no fear, I'll be back. You'll be scrumptious if eaten with cream for dessert just as soon as I gobble that jack. Fie, he said, and fum, he said, and sorry. Fie, he said, and fee, he said, and fum, he said, and foe. My very best treat is some children to eat, and I will start with the littlest toe. But the smallest boy whispered, my legs are so sore. And he slumped to the ground and he cried, I can't make it home. I can't walk anymore. Oh, please, could you give me a ride? The giant said, well, I suppose I don't mind. And he lifted the boy on his back. The boy said, I love you. You're wonderfully kind. And what is your name? I'm called Jack. I wonder how he's going to react now he's found out that that's Jack. Fee, he said, and fie, he said, little Jack Snack, is that right? I'll pulp you and stew you. I'll gulp you and chew you. I'll gobble you up in one bite. The little children said, oh, I know you wouldn't. We think you've made a mistake. You're such a giant, a kind giant, you couldn't. Nice giants always eat cake. Oh, look how delicious that chocolate cake looks. The giant was starving, his tummy was rumbling, but then he said, wait, are you sure? I'm grizzly and grumpy and grouchy and grumbly. I've never been called lovely before. You rescued a cat from a tree, shouted Jack, and you fetched us our ball. You're so nice. You gave me a ride through the streets on your back, so we made this for you. Have a slice. I think I'd prefer cake. No, he said, and hum, he said, and ha, he said, and he. Chocolate's much better than children, and he ate it all up for his tea. So that's one of my favourite books, The Giant of Jum, and hopefully you might know which um, like fairy tale it is relating to. Um, bye bye.